The candidates responded to a range of questions from explaining what they would do to reduce the size of government, what is their position on converting from a business privilege tax to a sales tax, and what would they do to seek federal reimbursement for the earned income tax credit, an unfunded mandate that's now costing GovGuam more than $60 million a year. But one of the hottest topics of late is the Guam Memorial Hospital, which recently lost its accreditation. The candidates were asked what they would do to improve the management and services of GMH. One is hiring a healthcare facilities professional so that in fact, I just alluded to it a little earlier, that they can run this facility. Second is to explore public-private partnerships with GMH. Second, thirdly, is taking a look at some of the processes that are in, in place, payment reform, updating and upgrading uh, some of the policies and standards as they deal with financial conflict of interest that they that can provide for additional transparency. But concerning the hospital, I will not ask for a receiver. I, will, I have asked the governor to declare right now immediately a state of emergency. And what that does it allows the governor to move resources from everywhere to help with the correction action plan that the hospital has already set forth. They can use UOG. UOG just got accredited. They know about accreditation. So I've authored a law. I've worked with the insurance companies. I know they're not too happy with the formula on how we're going to fund it, but that would now task our government to get um, to use Medicaid funds, use Medicaid funds, uh, together with local funds and what you've already paid for your uh, employees for their health insurance so that we can expand health insurance access to about 16,000 more of our people. That's how you're going to get people, that's how you're going to really address the needs of GMH. But you've got to get outside and go look for the resources over there to make sure that your hospital works well and take away some of those mandates that they're giving us to do without uh, some uh, concomitant uh, uh, monies to be able to pay for it. So I'm going to do that. I, I've been there. I'm going to dust that thing off at the Health and Human Services and bring them here because they don't, don't only bring doctors. They will bring expertise to take a look at what we need to provide for the people of Guam. It's great to have coaches and consultants. That's excellent. But at the end of the day, it comes down to delivery services. And that takes money and personnel and equipment. We have include the emergency room, the ICU. We want to do the maternity ward and other things. But you got a 45-year-old electrical panel, that's not going to improve itself. That's three and a half million. You have to pay for something if you're going to get it. Same thing with quality. You want to buy something, you want to pay for something, you got to pay for what you get. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to pay for the hospital, we need to make sure they have the management, and we'll improve it. Thank you. You can catch the full two-hour-long forum on our website, KUAM.com. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Laconta.